Okay, today's video is not so much an unboxing video as a uh, review and a recommendation. Um, as you will all know, I'm into D-Day and the Normandy landings. Um, both my uh, water tanker games and uh, chain of command games are basically set in that period. And I've recently painted some British Airborne the Red Devils. Um, for a number of different types of operations I wanted to play out and I, I bought myself um, a, a couple of old D-Day maps now I, I used this company the Godfrey edition before many years ago when I was into doing uh, research in my family tree I do a lot of old maps which are really interesting and useful for seeing how areas have changed and things like that and I didn't realize until I was looking very recently that they do three uh, maps from the 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 D-Day things and they're basically they're, they're um, the bigot plans so they're the annotated maps that would have been given out um, uh, top secret of course um, to commanders for, for the planning and preparation so they're quite detailed now I've got myself um, the one that covers Sword and Juno beaches, which is very interesting in its own right, looking at the, the sort of defences, and you look at it, you look at the map, and I'll show you the details in a second, and you do think to yourself, why on earth would anyone want to land on that beach? Um, and then the other area is Oostrum and the, the Pegasus Bridge area, uh, which is you know, very relevant to my uh, British Airborne. So um, a quick look at the inside of these. Um, I have to say, I really like them. Uh, there was only a few quid each, so well worth the money, and very interesting. Uh, broader look at the area really good for setting up terrain and uh, working out actions that you might want to take and possibly also very useful if you wanted to do a, like a mini campaign in a particular area so uh, we'll have a look inside uh, at the, the Pegasus Bridge map so these are lovely indeed I have lots of information on here um, uh, going all the way up to, to uh, Oostringham um, and the surrounding areas and you've got lots of information about uh, what emplacements and gun positions and defences that are lo located on the map you know so this is obviously a gun position over here um, but you've also got information these represent uh, areas where there are air landing defences so basically don't land your glider here and you'll note that around Pegasus Bridge there aren't any they were about to put some in and they had the, they had all the stakes and the material ready but they hadn't started they were due to start any day so um, uh, very fortunate because if there'd have been air landing defences in either of the fields either side of the bridge then the operation wouldn't have been able to go ahead as planned um, it's a very interesting map lots of detail at the bottom of the map there is um, uh, the original uh, key giving you a bit of information um, but actually if you want to understand the annotations that have been put on by the military planners you actually need the the other map the one that i've got which is uh juno and sword beaches um because on the back um so on the front you've got the beaches themselves and you've got the normal grid but on the back it actually has some of the information about the different types of annotations that are on the map um, so this is actually very very useful uh, in its own right um, for understanding the maps of this period and what they are as air landing defences marked out in that that symbol and so on so very good the, between the pair of them very interesting maps um, lots of information about the the, the different beach defences and so on if you're going to do a beach defence game, I would definitely recommend um, one of these maps. Um, like I say, only a few quid. There's only, uh, I think there's three available uh, at the moment. But um, check them out. The, the Godfrey Edition uh, old D-Day maps. Um, I'm really, really chuffed with these. Um, I'm going to spend, I mean, I love looking at maps anyway. So I'm going to spend ages basically pouring over these looking at this stuff thinking of scenarios and games that i can play um uh, so definitely if you're into the d-day period and particularly the, the the british sector it's worth finding these there's also one on the omaha beach as well if you're interested in the american sector so uh check these out the godfrey edition old d-day maps it is worth me noting that 
any of these uh, sort of product reviews or unboxings I do, they're not sponsored in any way. These are just products that I've bought that I found interesting and I just want to tell you about them. Um, so there's, there's no um, uh, sponsorship or anything like that involved. I'm not necessarily saying that the products that I like are better than any others. There's just the ones that I picked uh, for better or worse. Um, uh, and in particular with the maps, I'm really, really chuffed with them. And I do think there's a lot to be said for this sort of thing. Uh, any old maps. I do often go to military affairs. In fact, I'm going to one in a few days time um, because I'm always on the lookout for old maps, magazines and, and, and documents that sometimes go pretty cheaply at these military affairs and you never know what you might find um, so I'm always on the lookout for that sort of thing uh, so definitely recommend doing that um, uh, but you know, hopefully you're enjoying some of the, the products and, and item videos I've been doing um, let me know what you think